to the guests, chief guests, CS Education, Nairobi County, Honorable Brian Mulama, and all protocol observed. Good afternoon. God is good and all the time. Wow, thank you. Allow me to go through um, a speech here. I know most of the things have already been said, and we already said them in our class meetings, so I'll just rush through. I consider it a great privilege to stand before you this afternoon. I salute all of you, our distinguished guests, esteemed parents and teachers of St. George's. A lot has been said by the speakers of excellence who have stood here before me. They have captured critical issues in a very detail-oriented manner. Allow me to call to your attention the following. One, enrollment. Our current enrollment stands at 1,899 plus one, we shall be 1,900. All classes have a capacity of over 200, except for grade one and ECD. I have an elaborate number for every class, but for now, let me tell you, we have 1,046 1, girls, 853 boys. 1,430 day scholars, 469 boarders. That is 205 boys, 264 girls. Our ECD is two streamed. Grade one, two, six is three streamed. JSS is five streamed. And standard age is four streamed. The boarding facility for the girls and all classes are fully packed except PP1. If you want PP1, hallelujah. Our, our workforce, number two, St. George's has 25 teacher service commission teachers, 17 BOM teachers. The ECD department has six teachers. That gives a total of 48 teachers. The non-teaching staff comprises of 22 workers. Uh, the school has adequate teachers. However, there is a shortage of science and technical subjects teachers. It's something we are managing, but we may need to hire more if the TSC doesn't send uh, some. Madam CSO, please take note that you can also favor us in your next election by giving us teachers in those technical subjects. Um, the teaching fraternity has a very dedicated staff who are actively mentoring and equipping the students with skills to become all-round citizens. It is said that every great achiever is inspired by a great mentor. I can confidently state that the teachers are great mentors and role models to our children. Three, academic report. The number one reason of bringing your children to St. George's is for them to acquire knowledge, skills, and attitude. This has been dispensed through the 844 curriculum for those in class eight and CBC for the rest. 2022 was a very significant year. In that year, three exams were administered. KCP 2021 was done in March and KCP 2022 was done in early December. In addition, we had Kipsea for grade six, and St. George's posted a sterling performance in both KCP and Kipsea. In 2021, the mean score for KCP stands at 342.28. 2022 mean score stands at 346.80. I commend Mrs. Kivuti and the team for making the entire St. George's fraternity proud. The class of 2022 improved and emerged position three in Nairobi County behind Utawala Academy 
and Nairobi Primer. I have a firm grip on the button passed on to me by my predecessor. With God on our side, we shall finish with flying colors. As the old maxim goes, the end of a matter is better than its beginning. The Kitsia class performed competitively well. The mean score for every class was above the national mean. We noted gray areas that need interventions, and the teachers are actively working on it. There is a very competitive atmosphere across all classes that translates to great performances. I'm sure as you collect the results of your child, either today or 3rd of July, you will not great strides in their performances. We are committed to the school vision of being the most successful and respected primary and junior secondary school in this region. We are also committed to showcase innovation. In this current global age, students must show initiative, leadership, cooperation, cultural understanding, and technological sophistication. It is not just what we teach, but how we teach. That is what counts. Core curricular report. Besides academic work, it is also our duty to produce responsible men and women uh, in the future. In this regard, our students and pupils actively participate in core curricular activities. They do well in most of them, though in some areas we are struggling. I'm happy to report that the school represented Nairobi County in Mombasa for the uh, national drama festivals. The pupils got an opportunity to tour Mombasa region and enjoy also in the hospitality industry. In sports and athletics, the pupils tried their level best and some were selected to participate at regional level. Going forward, the school plans to invest in sporting facilities in order to produce giants in ball games. Music festivals are ongoing and we have 13 categories proceeding to regional levels this coming uh, term, that is this uh, uh, session after midterms. Clubs and societies, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the enormous effect, and the enormous effect it had on the school calendar, clubs were suspended to pave way for academic improvements. The resumption of clubs will soon give an opportunity for talented learners to showcase their abilities. More clubs such as instrumentalists and music clubs will be introduced in a bid to form a strong St. Georgian school band. Class meetings. All classes held their meetings last term. This time we had the six, seven, and eight meetings as well. The discussions bordered around the challenges experienced by the various classes Proper interventions or mitigation measures were reached. I urge all of us to adhere to the resolutions made. Adopt your class as parents and guardians and run your affairs in a very amicable way. In due course, the fruits of your hard labor will be realized. Educational trips and tours. All tours were planned and approved by the parents in their first term and second term meetings. It is important for children to go to these educational uh, to go for these educational tours. It provides an enhancement of the syllabus coverage and an excellent opportunity to be a local tourist. Grade 7 and 8 are yet to go. The former will be going to Alkari at Jodamo stations while the latter will travel to Mombasa. The parents agreed that one tour per class was adequate. Those who felt they needed one more can get an opportunity when the school calendar goes back to the original timings. In future, we shall do international exchange programs once a year. Guidance and counseling. Children need guidance all through. Mentors should never tire correcting children. Through proper guidance and counseling, children adopt ways and means of coping with the changing circumstances of life. Most wayward children have underlying issues that cause them to behave in a certain way. It is good to exhibit understanding but remain assertive in decision making. It's important to know your children and get to know their friends. As it is said, birds of the same feather flock together. Speed is key when it comes to accomplishing tasks, 
as parents discourage laziness, discourage laggardness, discourage complacency and procrastination in our children. Let them also understand for them to fly, they need to stick with the eagles and unless they want to crawl like the chicken. Uh, complaints, all complaints channeled in the right way are recorded in the complaints book. A follow-up protocol is done in a view to establish authenticity and transparency to ensure the right measures are taken. Kindly, let's differentiate issues and give proper attention to real issues affecting our children. If the problem is in the school, raise the issue at school. Do not take it out of school and then again try to bring it back because that will take a long time and the feedback will not be as prompt. School fee balances. For us to take St. George's to the next level, we need all stakeholders and specifically parents to honor the pledges they make in terms of making their payments and making them promptly. It is sometimes shocking to see a parent report to school during the opening time with a child and not a single penny has been paid and the child is supposed to be in the boarding wing. I again repeat, bring children and bring their food as well. Way forward. Everyone involved in the teaching profession believes in, on one guiding principle that every child deserves the very best education. That means pressing forward with two key conclusions, that it is not school systems, but school communities that we should be resourcing in order to achieve more. We purpose to advocate for deeper learning in the classroom rather than superficial preparation for testing, which all the research shows is forgotten within a few months. We'll also continue advocating for a child-centered approach to schooling where the needs of the individual take precedence over the external pressure to meet institutional, institutional accountability measures. We endeavor to make every St. Georgian super proud by upholding our motto, forward ever, backward never. I would like to thank the government of Kenya for the support rendered to our school. We have received capitation for both free primary education and junior secondary school, that is JSS, that is for first term. Uh, they advise our seniors in the Ministry of Education and Teacher Service Commission uh, have given has come in handy to improve the structures and policies in our school. The school board of management has been supportive and the PA team as well. The parents have been the key stakeholders by providing for their learners and we thank them. We applaud Uncle Paul and his team for spearheading the Sunday services. We highly recommend Pastor Moses and his team from Good Testimony Church for taking charge of the pastoral programs every Friday. Our teaching and non-teaching staff have worked tirelessly to keep St. George's up and shining. It is a very aggressive team that I can't exchange for any other. They impressed me and made the transition seamless, and for that I salute them. As an institution, we remain indebted to men and women of goodwill. Remember St. George's is our brand, defend it, showcase it, and confess positively about it all the time. Last but by no means the least, I know my time at St. George's is limited. My mandate or mission is greater than me, but I gain confidence knowing that my God is far much greater and will enable us to accomplish a lot in less time. It is only the genuine messenger who carries the blueprint. I therefore urge all of you to cooperate as we endeavor to make St. George's a wonderful home away from home, a sweet haven where every child feels safe, loved, and accepted for who they are. Join me in this great movement for the betterment of our children. Thank you, and God bless you.